Hello kids, daddy's here. Right now, daddy will show you a fantasy film from 2012, titled The Brass Teapot. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film begins with a married couple, John and Alice, who are currently experiencing financial issues. John's poor performance in the company's product sales has made the issue worse, and if he keeps doing things this way, he will be dismissed. Alice, on the other hand, who is attractive and has a good academic record, keeps failing her job interviews. When Alice returns home, their landlord, Arnie, who was also Alice's high school classmate, comes by to collect the rent. Given that she was once considered one of the students most likely to succeed in high school, he is shocked to learn about her financial condition. Alice loses all hope when she discovers that their bank balance would drop to minus 45 after she pays the rent. The following day, while they are on their way to the grocery store, a truck hits their car, causing them to stop and pull over. While stopping, Alice comes across a fascinating antique store run by an old lady. The old lady spots her as she wanders the store. When the old lady goes back to answer the phone, Alice takes advantage of the opportunity to steal the brass teapot and then she quickly leaves. The following day, while preparing for her upcoming job interview, Alice injures her head with a curling iron. All of a sudden, the stolen teapot starts producing money. She eventually discovers that the brass teapot may make money based on the owner's pain. After that, she intentionally try on herself in order to make the teapot produces more money. On the other hand, John's boss summons him to his room and fires him due to his worst selling performance. The desperate John tells his wife about the bad news but Alice is not worried at all. She shows John the teapot, and he is astonished when several dollars appear in the teapot, right after she kicks him in the nuts. Alice explains to John how the teapot makes money. John, however, expresses concern and claims that the teapot is dangerous yet his wife is already dependent on it. John decides to return the brass teapot to the old lady. The antique store, however, is permanently closed. He tries to sell the teapot on an auction in TV show because he needs the money for living, and Dr. Ling, who just so happens to see it and is intrigued by the teapot, becomes fascinated. However, before someone buys it, John agrees with Alice to use the teapot until they have enough money to pay off all of their debts. They are able to pay off all of their debts with the help of the brass teapot. Happy by the accomplishment, the married couple lightens their relationship in bed. One day, Two Jewish guys attack John and confess that the teapot is a priceless family heirloom and that the old lady in the antique store is their grandma, who passed away just a few days earlier. Alice successfully hides the teapot, says that it has been sold, and gives them the money. The Jewish men believe her, take the money and leave the house. They make an effort to find the teapot's origin in the library, where Alice finds a book that suggests the teapot is actually dangerous. Alice stealthily tears away the page, so John won't see the warning. After several months with the teapot on their hands, the couple eventually succeeds in buying their dream house, car and jewelry. One day, when they are host a party in their new luxurious house, Dr. Ling appears and expresses his interest in the teapot. But they won't sell it to Dr. Ling, making him to warn the couple that they must give him the teapot before it's too late. Still, they don't seem to care and rudely shut the door. But out of curiosity, they seek out Dr. Ling, who tells them the story of the brass teapot, which has been around for 2,000 years and has been handled by some of history's most evil figures. The fact that it is extremely harmful and cannot be destroyed, he vows to get rid of it. Nevertheless, Alice, who is greedy, declines to give it to Dr. Ling. One evening, the Jewish men break into their house and steal all of their money. It appears they are only interested in getting the money because they know the teapot is extremely dangerous. Alice tries to get her money back, but as one of the men strikes her in the head, she passes out. Alice sobs in despair the next morning because they have lost all the money and the teapot is now producing less money than before. After a skateboarder falls in front of her, Alice discovers that the teapot can also generate money by exploiting the pain of those around it. After realizing this, they attend an MMA match and observe a mother give birth. Alice becomes desperate for more money as they drive home. She nearly purposefully hit a man with her car, but John was able to swerve it. Alice grows upset and tells John that he is useless. Her words wounded John, and as a result, the teapot generates money. They learn that the teapot can generate money from psychological pain as well. They take advantage of this chance by sharing their darkest secrets with one another. 
John is angry to learn one of the secrets. Alice previously allowed Arnie to go down on her before they got married. Next, they intend to ruin couple's marriage to make more money. Starting with his ex-boss wife, John tells her that her husband is having an affair with a man. Their action makes them richer and richer. Next, the couple intends to tell Alice's sister's husband that she has been cheated and that their son is not actually his son. Nevertheless, it turns out that they are still empathetic and cancel their plan. Alice who is still dissatisfied with the money they are made, advises they kill a bad guy to get a massive amount of money. Consequently, they prepare a grave for their intended victim, but suddenly John stops and leaves as he notices that his wife has turned evil. When John gets back home, he discovers a page of the book that she tore up. He tells Alice that if Alice does not put an end to it and hand it to Dr. Ling, he'll jump. John finally succeeds in persuading her to stop and Alice still prefers him over the money. Later that evening, Arnie, who is aware of the teapot's magic, broke in and stole it. The next day, they visit his trailer, where Arnie and his girlfriend threaten the couple with a gun. Shortly thereafter, two Jewish men break in, and a shootout ensues, killing everyone except John and Alice. The outcome of the shootout enables the teapot to make a huge amount of money. They collect all the money and eventually give the teapot to Dr. Ling. Dr. Ling throws the magic brass teapot in the middle of the sea. The couple decides to donate their money to their friends who are in need and leave the city with their old car. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.